Today we're going to make a Wall Street 2 two-tone pen kit. Wall Street 2 is a Woodcraft kit. I purchased locally. I don't have any affiliation with them. But in the kit is a brass tube. There's the tip, two-tone based on the chrome tip, satin finger grip. Here's the top of the pen, the cap with, with the clip, and the mechanism. So the first thing you do is take the kit apart, find your pieces, everything looks good. Find a blank. This is a Bethlehem olive wood blank. And look at your blank. And on this end of the blank, I have really creative, lots of grain. It looks like it's going to be interesting if I turn that. This end of the blank, not too bad. I can easily make two Wall Street 2 pens from here. I'll set the tube on on the blank, kind of mark it, hold it, so I have a lot of room, no real need to worry about air. I'm going to mark that quite a bit long, about an eighth, a little more than that on each end. I can easily get another piece out of that. So now I have my mark, and I know my lengths. I need to get a 2764 drill bit to drill the blank after I trim this off with my bandsaw. You know, that's the way I do it. I just zip this with the bandsaw and then I'll show you my jig and we'll drill it on my drill press. Alright, now I've trimmed the blank just like I said, put it in the bandsaw, zipped it right off. Two pieces, I'm going to make two pens at the same time. It's just a, about as fast and as easy as making one. I have a 2764 uh, brad point drill bit. I'm going to put that in my drill press, nice and simple. It's the same, essentially the same diameter as the outside of the tube, or, or you know, very close. And then what I have here is a really simple homemade drilling jig. As you can see, there's a little slot here to put the pen blank. There's a little stopper that I can drill through uh, and just a door hinge. And I just put that the blank in it, just like that. Just the drill bit. Kind of hold it and when drilling, you drill nice and slow, nice and careful. You clean out the clean out the blank a number of times. And it doesn't have to be exactly perfect. There's generally enough play in the blanks and the bit parts. And then when you glue it, you want a gap filling glue. You can see and getting towards the end where I want to go nice and carefully so that I don't break out the end. Because this blanket, this wood I can tell is now I'm through. Okay. Got my blanks, I've got my tubes, I've got some sandpaper. What I want to do is rough up the edges of the tubes before I glue them. In order to do that, I just get some really rough paper. Just quickly, just quickly hit it with the rough paper. You know, you wrap it around, do something like that. Either way. So. I'm going, I generally sometimes use CA glue, but today I found some new Dries Clear polyurethane, and so I'm going to give that a try. Um, I use a piece of cardboard, put a little glue out, use these really expensive uh, Chinese gluing tools, and when you use polyurethane glue what I understand is you're supposed to get 
a little moisture to help the glue cure. So what I'm doing now is just dipping this in some water and wetting the inside of the blank. So now I'm going to put that away, grab a little dab of this glue, pile it up. Oh, it's it's pretty thick. With that. I'll take the tube. Wow. This is really thick. Get some on that. Get some on my gluing tool. Smear it around inside the blank. I've not used this stuff before. I need a little more. I guess the warning is probably not to use too much, and I've probably already used too much, but we'll see. And then, just take the blank. Ah, oh, yeah, that's going in there. That's going in there really well. And slide it in. I'm going to look at my blank and see that there's a little bit more creative stuff going on right down in here. So, I slid the brass tube down quite a ways. So now, take my tool, put some glue in the blank, put some glue on the tube, make sure I get really good glue on my fingers and on my coat. Dogs and cats, everything. And one warning I've had about this glue, well, people don't like to use it because it takes overnight to cure or set up, which is fine. I'm not generally in any hurry. If I was in a big hurry, I would use CA glue. Or I will just uh, uh, stage what I'm doing. I've got other blanks already glued up that I could throw on the lathe if I was really anxious to you know, turn a pen right now. So, that's as simple as it is to glue the brass tubes inside the blank. I've got a little bit of space on this end. I mean I'm about that short with my brass tube. And I'll just zing that off with my bandsaw and then once these cure, dry, whatever you want to call it, I will um, put them on the lathe.